Hi, Todd Martin here with The Walking Code. In this video, I'm going to discuss some of the details of barefoot walking. Now, obviously, barefoot walking is walking without shoes, or some people would even consider that walking with minimalist shoes. One of the reasons for the recent trend in recommending barefoot walking is because a lot of people are getting heel pain, foot pain, knee pain, and hip pain possibly caused by abnormal walking technique. And a lot of people feel that modern footwear is one of the contributors to abnormal walking technique, particularly the problem with heavy heel strike. So in this video, I'd like to cover some of the facts and fiction about barefoot walking. There have been studies that show people walk differently in shoes than they do when they are barefoot or clad in minimal shoes. The studies show that people tend to take shorter steps when barefoot, and they also tend to step more rapidly or a more rapid cadence with the stepping. Studies have also shown decreased plantar pressure with barefoot walking, and that's pressure on the plantar surface or the bottom of the foot when we step and change weight. When we walk barefoot, our steps tend to be shorter than they are when we are wearing shoes. So when I'm wearing shoes, I end up taking longer steps, but slower steps. When I'm not wearing shoes, I end up taking more steps that are shorter in length and a more rapid cycle rate. There's no difference in the technique between barefoot walking and walking in shoes. The only difference is I elongate that mid stance phase when I'm wearing shoes. In barefoot walking, we tend to stop the mid stance phase in this position when my swing leg has gone just slightly forward of the body, and then I rotate to bring my foot to the ground. Let me demonstrate the step length. So the stride is much shorter than when we're wearing shoes. When I'm wearing shoes, I tend to stretch that mid stance phase out a little bit further before bringing my heel down to the ground. That gives me a little bit more elongated stride and a little bit faster movement. It also allows me to take a slower stride shoes and I walk with good posture, that doesn't cause any additional harm to the feet or to the knees or to the hips. It's quite likely that the additional force with landing and changing weight is probably made up for by taking fewer steps. The problem that I see with wearing shoes for some people is that they don't walk normally with good posture. Wearing the shoes allows them to pitch forward when they walk and then they actually crash into the heels and that is what reverberates a lot of force and impact into the ankles, the plantar portion of the feet, the knees and the hips. And that is what can cause pain. This sort of forward lean when walking, I'm really pushing my body forward until the heel hits the ground. That force of impact is gonna travel all the way up my joints and cause damage, particularly over the course of many years. When I walk normally with shoes, with a elongated stride, I'm still bringing my foot down in a very controlled fashion without a lot of impact. It's probably a little bit more impact than when I take very short steps, like barefoot walking, 
but I have to take a lot more steps when I'm barefoot walking because of that shortened stride if I'm trying to travel the same distance. For people who are having foot pain, knee pain, hip pain, or back pain, I believe that there could be benefits from trying to practice walking barefoot, particularly in the home, because it may cause people to correct some of the gait problems that they have already. The practicality for walking barefoot all the time is that when you're walking on concrete, Concrete gets very hot and I couldn't even keep my shoes off for more than five seconds doing this video before my feet started to burn, I had to put my socks on. However, using minimalist footwear solves that problem of the heat of the concrete. It also solves some of the problem of landing on hard, sharp, or dangerous objects. So there may be a lot of benefit in wearing minimalist footwear some studies show that older people wearing minimalist footwear were able to have a little bit more kinesthetic uh, feeling or connection to the ground and therefore had better balance. So minimalist footwear can be beneficial for people to practice in. That's probably more practical than going barefoot, particularly outside the home.